Yo, what is up everybody? Today, um, we're not actually having a Call of Duty video, we're having something totally different. Um, a lot of you have been asking how I made my new intro. Um, I, the intro I already played in the beginning of this video, but a lot of you have been asking how have I made, how have I made it? Actually, I'll show you right now. So, um, here's the video. It's, all, it's only a few seconds, but... So, anyways, um, a lot of you have been asking how I made this, um, I will show you right now. It's going to be a quick tutorial, um, I'm not going to make the full thing, but I'll show you what it looks like, and then I will probably open up the one I do have, and I'll show you how many layers I have and everything. So, um, we're just going to jump straight into this, I'm, the face cam is going to go away just so you guys can see better, but, um, we are using Adobe Act After Effects CC, um, you could get a free trial of this, or you could just pay for it, so, um, I'm just gonna go, like, get rid of this. Okay, so we're here. Um, first thing you want to do is you're gonna go click File, New, New Project, exactly like that, and then you're gonna go here, and you click New Composition. Here, you can write down anything you want, like Call of, du Call of Duty, or whatever you want, I'm just, I'm just hitting the keyboard. So you can type in, like, Call of Duty right now, I'm just gonna call it Call. What you want to do is, you're definitely going to have to hit HDTV 1080p, because that's what most people record from. I I'm I do 1080p when I'm on my webcam and everything. That's why I chose, and it's going to be 1920 by 1080 just how it normally is. Square pixels, you don't have to change any of this. At least, I don't think you have to change any of this, except for the background color. If the background color is not black, mine for some reason was gray, change it to black. After that, you click OK. Here. You got, you got your, you, we have our whole background right here. Um, now, here's here's where it gets a little bit fun. Um, here, you can actually change the font to whatever you want. I'll show you that in a minute. But here's where we go. We go, you go, you right click here, you click new. And by the way, I'm doing all this on a Mac. I The same steps are taken on a Windows computer, so it's not really that big of a deal. Anyway, so you click text, and now we have our first text. So I'm going to put ghostly underscore reflex um you could put anything you want but personally i just put that because that's what i do sometimes it gets a little bit pixely but um so you go like that you we're gonna highlight everything first and then you we choose our size um actually we can do it a better way you just click on you click on the px button the pixel button and you can just choose how, how large you want it um I'm just gonna go like that for now um then you just drag it you could you could you could make it bigger like probably that would probably fit no it's just a little bit too big okay so, something like this um i don't know why this getting pixely but whatever and then here's where you could change your font and everything i i have riot so um i that's what that's what my riot looks like i don't i don't like anything else but riot okay riot there we go so we're back to riot riot's actually a free free font from the the font the font.com has riot for free I personally love to use Riot because it just it looks it fits it fits my thing. My thing says ghostly reflex. It sort of looks like a like a ghost font. I don't know, it's just me, I guess. So now that we have that done, um here's the next step. We see you guys see this red bar over here, right? Um it's actually very important. So we're gonna right click on it. Actually, my bad. We're not we don't have to touch the bar just yet. I don't know why I so, sorry about that. So um, when you go when you go to effects and stuff and pre and, and presets, there's not going to be anything here. Um, what you need to do is type in decoder, decoder, and then after that it says right here decoder fade in is what we're going to take. So you you left click on it and then you drag it into this red bar. This is why I said the red bar is important. You drag the decoder into the red bar and watch. So now that we dragged and dropped it, press your space bar to actually play what's going on in here. So we're gonna click play, and that is how um, that's how the that's how the text shows up. So we're gonna leave that alone. So that's how that's how the decoder font works, or decoder fade in. My bad, not font. That's how that works. And then after you type in decoder, we're actually gonna type in the word glow, and then there's a glow here which plus shadow. That's not what we need at all. Uh, we need glow. So when you come to glow, you, you you drag and drop glow into the red bar again. 
And then we're going to come work in this panel. This panel is also very important. So here we're going to actually see how it says A and B color. We're actually changing those. Oh, okay, my bad. So we come here and you choose the green you want. I'm I'm going to go with I'm going to go with this green and then you go and then you click the then you click this little thing and then you click the dropper and then you click on that. So they're both the same green. And then so it says A B here, right? Um, we're actually right now glow colors. It says original colors. I don't know what the original colors are, but we need to change it to A and B colors. So after we change it to A and B colors, we have to go here, change this to 40. Personally, I have mine at 40. You guys can play around with these settings if you want. And this one at three. Other people have it differently, but that's how I have mine. So when we come back here and we click play, watch what it looks like. So that's what that's sort of like the Call of Duty intro colors. That's what it, that's what it looks like. Um, personally, I I I have it at these settings because I, I think those stand out the most. But you guys can change it to whatever you want. And then after we're gonna add a new text right here. So you go text, and then um, we're gonna put gaming is ev everything. Sweet. Um, you have to actually drag that in. We are gonna have to make that small I forgot you got um, control a or command a um, selects everything for you which is very easy that actually works on everything not just this um, we're actually gonna go put that here um, so we are taking this okay and we're gonna we're gonna put it right there I don't know why that's being pix pixely I don't know um the one thing that this does not have is you cannot it doesn't have like Photoshop where like if you drag an image if you drag an Im image to a certain point, like the lines pop up saying, "Hey, that's in the center." That actually doesn't happen here, so that sort of that sort of does suck. But um, so we're gonna go type in glow. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna change the colors. Um, you actually do have to change the colors every time, sort of. Actually, wait, time out. Um, instead of changing colors every time, this is what I do. I go like that, and I just and I sort of just copy one of the colors in there, sort of in the glow. And then, as I said, we have to change it to A B colors only. And that gives it that nice glow. And then after that, we got to type in decoder. Um, I watched a, a YouTube and a, a different YouTube video, and it said to do something else differently, but we're going to do it this way. Decoder, deco um, decoder fade in. So we're dragging that back in again. And instead, okay, so, so ghostly reflex. Um, oh, we actually have to undo that. Actually, we're going to drop the decoder fade in in a little bit of a different spot. So... So that pops up there, and you drag the decoder fade in there now. So perfectly. So once that happens, so once the X finishes, this will start playing. Actually, I'm actually just learned that with you guys. When I was doing this, it was totally I totally messed up. But so now when you you gotta stop it right right when the X right when this X pops up, you stop it, and where this blue thing is, you take the decoder fade in and you drop and you drop it in right there. So now when the X stops, ghost uh, gaming is everything will start. So that's sort of like a fun. That's a fun thing to do. So um, also, um, so we're gonna hit a new text box. So when you hit a new text box, um, this is what I did. I first of all I moved it up here. I did make it smaller because you can make it smaller. So we go like this first. Um, where is it? We're gonna go like this. And how how did I how did I make it smaller? I can't remember. But um. You could do it this way, actually. Um, so you go Control A, and you can make it smaller, and then you could put as many words in as you want. So you go like that. You just keep type. You keep typing in random stuff, and then you put it up to the top wherever you want. And then we do the decoder fade in, and then we do we do glow again. Um, and then you pretty much repeat this process. So um, I'm gonna go here. Oh my bad. Um, Control Z, Control Z. Uh, we actually need decoder fade in, decoder, decoder fade in. But we do, we have to put this in the beginning because every time I drop in decoder fade in, it's always in the wrong spot. So we are putting in decoder fade in. Um, so right when, right when ghostly reflex, right when ghostly reflex ends, your decoder fade in will end, and that's pretty much how, that's pretty much how I made my intro. So I will actually open up, open up project. No, we don't want to save that, but we will open up our project. Um, PSD intros, YouTube intros. So we go into YouTube intros. So here it is. 
Um, here's the one I have. This was a little bit complicated to do, um, but, oh, I, do I have anything? Okay, so, I, so, it is, it's actually very laggy when you do it this way, but, um, don't worry, when you, when you actually file and render it, everything turns out fine. So, um, I did that, and then you could also drag, you could also drag this to different spots. It, it is a little bit complicated, I don't know how fully it works yet, but, like, you could just play around with it, and it will happen. Um, so pretty much, yeah, it starts lagging like that. It, I, it doesn't matter, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten layers in between my actual text, which helps, which helps give it that Call of Duty, like, feel. Um, you, a lot of you guys have been asking how I did this. I wanted to make this video. So when you're done that, you go to file and then you click export. Um, you also can get a trial to, uh, um, Adobe, uh, where is it? Adobe Media Render Qui. Um, that's how I did it for some reason. Um, don't do Adobe Premiere Pro Project because that doesn't usually work. So we're gonna do that. Um, does that open up on a different screen? No, that did not open up on a different screen. My bad. Uh, I think it was this one. Here we go. So um, as you guys can see, oh, it's, uh, it's actually opening up on the on the other screen. I will drag it onto this screen once that is done. But anyways, um, when you get Adobe, when you get Adobe After Effects, it also comes with Adobe um, Render. So you come here, and then where is it? Oh, oh. where'd it go? Why isn't it here? Um, it should. Oh, here it is. So now it popped up. Um, so you come here, and all you do is just click. You click Start Qui, and it actually renders it for you. Um, you don't have to change any of this. You don't have to change any of this. Everything is fine. All you have to do is just click. All you have to do is just click the Start Qui button, and everything everything actually happens like that. And then it starts. Uh, you, the file name I call the Intro 1080p because that's what I have. I also have a different one for when I play on my laptop. So that's what that happens. And then all it does is it just renders it in here. And actually, I'm gonna pause that because I don't actually need that. So all it does is render it in there, and and then once once the once the thing comes up, apparently it says two minutes and thirty six seconds remaining. That's how fast I could render it on my MacBook. Um, that's pretty much it for you guys. I guys, I hope you guys liked how how I hope you guys liked how it came out. And then after you render it, um, yes, I do really want to quit. Okay, so after you guys do render this, like that's I that took that took. This took me about 10 minutes to make as I was watching a video. So if you guys watch this video, you guys could probably make it in like 8 minutes, 10 minutes. It's going to be really quick. Um, so after I did do this, I did go to my Camtasia. And then I dropped in some music in the background as you guys seen. Um, as, if we watch this again, like you guys could hear the music in the background. I put that Black Ops 3. I put the Black Ops 3 music in, in the background. Um which gave it a good uh, gave it a nicer feel i think i do want to change the music but i don't know so um yeah i hope you guys like the video drop a quick thumbs up i think i just popped back into the screen um uh, so drop that quick thumbs up um i hope you guys enjoy the video i hope a lot of you guys start making this intro because it's super easy to make you guys can also go to duff font for the for the riot for the riot font you just go to duff font you type it in you got the riot font um that's how the right font looks or you can use whatever font you want this takes very little effort and time all you have to know is how to use the decoder fade in and glow and you just add more text it's literally that simple i hope you guys enjoyed and until next time ghostly reflex out